Look at what happened here this morning. New video of a mess after a chase. It happened while most people were sleeping in the overnight hours and investigators say this involved a stolen police truck in the East County that ended all the way in the South Bay. CBS 8, Sariana Cohen, she is in Chula Vista this morning with where this chase ended and more on what's to come from here. Yes, we are just outside Otai Ranch Mall, and that male suspect crashed into the fire hydrant in the mall parking lot just behind us. And it's been a crazy turn of events. It all started just hours ago at 9 last night. We got all our information from San Diego County Sheriff's Watch Commander, and here's what we know so far. Take a look at this video. An off-duty El Cajon police officer was at 7-Eleven in Santee when a man got in front of his unmarked truck and confronted him. That male suspect then carjacked the officer unmarked truck and got away. Then at 1130 last night, authorities received reports of a man with a handgun in his waistband at the Jack in a Box on Lake Jennings Road. Authorities found the man in the stolen truck and that's when the chase began. Authorities say the male suspect drove at times up to 100 miles per hour on I-8 West to Highway 94. Then on State Route 125, get this, he crossed the center median and drove the wrong way. He made his way here to Otay Ranch Mall where he crashed into that fire hydrant. He then ran off and was tased. One deputy was scratched and an El Cajon officer was bit by an El Cajon canine when attempting to arrest the suspect. Authorities say the suspect appeared to be under the influence of narcotics and that male suspect is in a local hospital due to being under the influence. Now that is the latest information we have so far. Again, a very crazy pursuit leading right outside here to Otay Ranch Mall. In Chula Vista, Ariana Cohen, CBS 8.